Good morning, friends. Take these off because I don't know if there's a glare. It's peak week. I have a biggest smile on my face. Um, it's peak week, day one. It is Saturday, September 29th. And I step on stage in seven days. In seven days, I will wake up a lot earlier than this and it'll be show day. Um, my camera's about to die, but I'm about to head into the gym. I have 25 minutes of cardio this morning. I sent progress pictures to my coach. Um, I'll kind of talk about my peak week plan and everything. I got that last night, so I'll talk to you guys through that. But I have my last, like, real lift today. I have 25 minutes of cardio this morning. Um, I have a lot of carbs. I have 300 grams of carbs. I have 200 the It's going to be the most boring grocery I'll ever, but I have to the grocery store. So, just wanted to say, hey, intro this vlog. I'm not sure what my plan for uploading during peak week is, but I want to do it a lot more consistently. I don't want to promise every day, but there will be a good chunk of vlogs this week. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get the day started. Let's go. Peak week, day one. This is breakfast, so I just have a 60 grams of cream of rice, egg whites, a whole egg, and a tablespoon of this almond butter and and obviously another cup of coffee way hotter when it doesn't have cashew milk we are keeping it very simple it's all mixed together um so i totally forgot i have a posing lesson in like 45 minutes it is like 12 15 right now um <laughs> So I'm just finishing up some check-ins. I'm just working this morning. I have a couple more left, but it's just a FaceTime posing lesson with Candice. Um, I'll put her Instagram right here. Um, and she's been helping me with posing the whole time. I've probably met with her like at the beginning of prep. It was like every couple weeks and recently it's been like once a week. Um, but I'm about to make my green. Um, but yeah, so. These are really good with cashew milk, but we're not doing that because peak week. Um, so just take a scoop. And pour these in there. These, this are. And then we got a straw. So, I'm gonna finish my last couple check-ins. Probably not even get myself together. Just get my bikini and heels on. And then we have this posing lesson. Still have not gotten myself together, but I just finished my posing lesson. Um, I have like a nice little water baby. But I didn't film it because I was running a little late, hence why I didn't get myself together. So, I'm gonna change and do this so I can go do things. Not that I need to like do my makeup to go do things, but I'll, I'll feel better, you know? And then I'll make some food. Okay. Okay, so we have lunch. What I have is, this is three ounces of chicken. It all kind of got mixed together. That I just cooked in a pan. Um, I have sweet potato and asparagus that I made in the air fryer and there's coconut oil and then some almonds. And I did change, but didn't really get myself together. Um, but this is what we have. It's honestly just like very simple stuff. I'm not on like a meal plan or anything. Sweet potatoes with coconut oil. I forgot how much I freaking love that. I'm going to eat this. Oh, seasonings. Sorry, I'm like so all over the place. Um, I just used garlic powder. And we're salting everything. So, um, but yeah. It's a beautiful day outside. So, yay. Need to get out here more. I just took Hux for a walk. And I was like, wow. Haven't seen the sunlight in forever. Okay, so I'm about to run to the store. This is going to be the most boring grocery haul ever. 
Um, so I'm just gonna take you in and show you what I got. It'll take like five minutes, seriously. Groceries are away. Oh. And I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about Peak Week before I prep up some sweet potatoes and chicken. So, I'll show you guys how I do that too. I did get, this is a venti, oh I need to add ice to this, um, half decaf Americano. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I should not be tired on 300 grams of carbs and then I added a packet of Splenda and cinnamon. So, let's chat. Peak Week. I am going to start off by saying that everyone approaches peak week differently. Like every coach approaches it differently. What works for everyone is different. And I know a lot of people say like it takes a few tries to like figure out how you peak best. And obviously every prep is different too. But I'm just going to kind of explain my peak week plan, this prep, how my coach Nick does it and has me doing it. And it and P.S. When you are watching this video, these shirts will be live. They are Buff Bunny Collection. I will put my link in the description box along with these really, really cute joggers. So, um, anyways. Personally, you guys saw I went to the grocery store. It was literally the most boring grocery haul ever. And the goal with nutrition is, one, to decrease the amount of variables that can, like, mess things up. Or if something does go wrong, minimize variables so that we can tweak things really easily and figure out what isn't right, right? You want digestion to be on point. You don't want to have any bloating or water retention from the food that you're eating. And honestly, like, you just want your body to respond and use the food that you're giving it efficiently, right? My coach does not do a meal plan. Um, I know he said he used to do meal plans and I was kind of like, maybe he'll give me a meal plan. I had no idea. Um, but just depending on what someone's eating all of prep, if you give them a meal plan that is like literally totally different foods, again, you don't know how their body is going to respond. Um, so as me pick, um, two carb sources, two protein sources, and two fat sources, and then one to two veggies, um, that I want to get all of my nutrients from. The ones that I got were sweet potato and rice are my carbs and I asked him that includes cream of rice. Um, for now um, and while I'm loading when my carbs are super high, getting 300 grams of carbs from rice and sweet potato is would literally be torture. Like I'm really full right now. I know my body does digest sweet potato well um, but even that I'm keeping in more limited quantities. I literally could get all my carbs from rice but again we're trying to get a multitude of different micronutrients. Uh, my proteins are egg slash egg whites and chicken. I was kind of thrown between chicken and fish and then I figured when I'm like meal prepping and stuff it would be disgusting to like bring fish to the show. Now I'll get really really old eating tilapia all week. So fat sources I'm doing coconut oil and almonds and the almond butter I use um so you saw me like use almond butter this morning it's literally the only ingredient that it's just raw almonds I can use like olive oil or something too but just simple oils like that that I've been using all prep and veggies mainly gonna be asparagus I did get some zucchini too for probably like my lower carb depletion days um and how it's working is obviously I am loading today because I'm still a bit flat we've actually been trying to get my weight to go up and today was the first day I was up like a tiny tiny bit um my weight was dropping for a while and then it kind of has been like going back up and then um, we will probably deplete starting tomorrow for a few days and then carve back up before show. Um, I am going to be checking in with Nick every single day and then he'll give me my macros for that day. Um, so like today I sent him my pictures which I'll put across the screen here and he told me like no we need to carve you up. So right now I'm just doing 25 minutes of cardio in the morning and then 300 carb 130 protein um 50 fat and then tomorrow obviously we will deplete i think some competitors do what's called like a dirty load so you see like competitors who will go to ihop or go get a burger or something the night before show and nick doesn't do that so i'll still be no matter what sticking to the same food and the reason again is just be for like digestive reasons and so that we can 
limit all the variables involved like if I went out and maybe my body doesn't respond super well to that or maybe it's like overdoing it you know um, and obviously there's situations where you have to do that and again it works really really well for some competitors but for me this time around we are doing a clean load and it'll just be slowly building up my food um, or throwing a lot of food at me I don't know we'll see um, for the last few days leading up to my show um, I know other questions I'll get asked are water so I'll be doing two gallons a day. I'm like a gallon and a half in. I'm trying to get most of it in earlier just because I'm really bad. Like after lunch, I'm really bad about getting in my water besides during my workout. So I'm really trying to get as much in now as I can. Sodium, we're just keeping it consistent. So like I am sodium queen. You know, I put like hot sauce and like green dragon sauce and salt and my pickles and whatever. Like I eat a lot of sodium. Um, so I'm supposed to do three grinds of salt on everything. And he has me doing extra just because I've been consuming so much sodium that like other things people talk about. So like artificial sweetener. I've never been one to consume a lot. Like I put stevia in things. I know some people consider that an artificial sweetener. Um, occasionally like on my pancakes or on my cream of rice or something at night, I'll use like Walden Farms. A lot of people going into peak week, um, like don't change anything now, right? And I think that that is 100% the way to go. So all throughout my prep, kind of my stance on that was just like, I'm not going to like introduce a ton of new stuff. Um, and I know I look better when I just like stick to stuff that I know. So I've been like, this whole change in eating isn't really like that much of a change for me, if that makes sense. Um, besides just like eating the same thing like five times a day. I guess volume eating too, the past like week, yeah, I guess this past week, I just kind of like cut it out. So like big salads, um, using cauliflower rice, and obviously this doesn't apply to peak week, but just kind of like prep in general. Um, I think there's a time and a place for it, like when your carbs are like decently low, like if you have 20 grams of carbs at a meal, you're not going to have like this much rice, right? Like it's way better to use cauliflower rice or something. And I just kind of deal with the blow, but like at the end of the day, cauliflower is a very cruciferous vegetable. No one's body handles it super, super well. Um, if you are eating like big ass salads or like a million veggies at every meal, your body is not utilizing that as efficiently as it would if, it, if you were just consuming like simple, easily digestible carbs or just like a single carb source, right? Um, and it's just like a lot of food volume in your stomach. So that's something like the past like two weeks I just like stopped. Um, like I just have like my protein, my fat, and my carbs. Bring on all the sweet potato rice, chicken, egg whites, coconut oil, almonds, and asparagus and zucchini. But yeah, so. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm prepping my sweet potatoes and chicken just so they're like ready to go. Okay, this was so long. I'm gonna have to edit the crap out of this. So sweet potato, I have the ones I got from Trader Joe's the other day. So I probably will be like air frying some of them just cause I like it. And then um, if you guys are OG, you're gonna remember this, but I really like like super soft sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna make them like that. And then chicken, I just find it's easier to digest for me if I make it in the crock pot because you think about it, it's kind of like pull apart, like moist. I hate that word. I told you I'd make you an A. Um, but it, it just digests better for me. Um, and that way it's just like ready to go and I don't have to worry about cooking it on the stove. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is just my sweet potatoes and chicken. literally took me like two minutes so this is how you know they were are done it was about 45 minutes and it, the cooking time just depends on like how big the sweet potatoes are but they're like super super soft you can see they kind of are like oozed everywhere so I just let them cool for a little bit just go like this so you have a bunch of like mashed sweet potato chicken um I just used that one pack of chicken breast tenders, so it should be like done when I'm done with the gym. Pre-workout noms, all the carbs. So I have jasmine rice under there, sweet potato, 
egg whites, banana, and then a tablespoon of almond butter. Seriously, so bomb. It's really good with chicken, too. The things you can do with, like, six things, honestly. I'm going to eat this. I have to post a picture on Instagram. Um, and then we'll go to the gym. Oh, I forgot to say, too, there's, like, two grams of coconut oil on this. So even if you haven't tried this before, it's super good. It seems weird, but don't knock it until you try it. For sure, going to have this even more when in my off season because it's that bomb. But, okay. Time to eat. Okay, so for this workout, I thought I would do a little voiceover because I haven't done one of these in a while. So let me know what you think. But I always start my shoulder days with like pretty much the same warm up. I do some light rotator cuff stuff, lateral raises, overhead press, front raise, just the basics, just to get my shoulders nice and warmed up. Um, then I moved on to some leaning side lateral raises and I really like doing unilateral shoulder work just because it kind of makes sure that symmetrically you're balanced and you're not overcompensating with one arm over another. Um, cause I find that for myself, um, my right arm is a lot stronger and my left leg is a lot stronger. And I think that's cause I used to play hockey. So I did leaning side lateral raises and then I did unilateral, um, standing dumbbell presses. Um, next I did these. I love these. These are called dumbbell up and overs or that's what I call them. Um, you can see how I did them here. And then next I really do like doing supersets on shoulder days and I was kind of in a rush. Like I got to the gym, I think at like 7 30 PM. So I supersetted behind the head, um, shoulder press and barbell upright rows, just using the same weight. Um, and I did like pretty much 12 to 15 reps for basically every exercise. Next, I did some rear delt flies and I'm really focusing right now on, um, my lateral and rear delts. Um, my front delts are pretty strong. So I do do front delt stuff in here. You see me doing, I supersetted, um, plate front raises with a turn and then plate front raises just to failure. Um, and then I even did some partials at the end when I hit failure with the front raises. So I did the turns to failure and then just the normal front raises to failure. Um, and then I did plate side lateral raises, superset with plate side lateral raises with my palms facing out. Um, so that was my full workout. And I hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. It was super quick. This video is really long. So on with the rest of my night. Super exciting. Okay, I look super active, but my camera died at the end of my workout. I did get the whole thing. I literally turned around and my camera was off and I was like, must have died. Anyways, I got home. I'm super tired. I ate dinner. It was just rice and asparagus and chicken and olive oil, which I'll show you guys the chicken. So that's how the chicken it comes out, it just literally like pulls apart. But um I'm really, really tired. I have one more meal, I'm just eating cream of rice again. Like literally, I'm not gonna do a lot of full days of eating this week because my meals are literally all gonna be the same. Mission tomorrow is to get this video up. I started editing it, but I need to go to sleep. Um I'm honestly so full right now. Like I have just wanted to feel full for so long and now all of a sudden I am full and I am like, but I need to go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it gave you some insight into my peak week, I guess. Um, and yeah, I will vlog a lot this week. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know, but as always, comment, share, like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you don't miss a video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.